it's tutorial tuesday on the logic network i'm gonna show you how i made this effect over here oh let me see okay here those that melting effect or whatever so i'm gonna show you how i did it and you can apply it to the rest of the letters or whatever so first the first thing you're gonna need it's a text 3d this and this one is just a simple 3d 3d text made in photoshop okay just combining some layers so i'm gonna drag it to my new project over here okay more or less centered yep so create a new layer over it let's call this layer fill in this layer we are gonna actually do oh, what is it the filling itself so i'm gonna choose any letter over here let's say it's gonna be the L okay, I'm gonna show you how to how to do this pretty fast just oh, come over here hey be aware and um, corners have to be rounded so okay don't make lines too straight okay they just look, don't look good okay uh, let's make some kind of a drop over here uh, Okay, enough. Okay, here it comes. Here comes one of the tricky parts. Okay, so as you can see, this one has a different point of view as this one, this layer. Let's say it's just this one is the depth, so it actually has to have a depth. So make sure to make a layer that is almost aligned with this one. Okay, and now I just make it. Oh fuck. No, 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 come back. Yeah, in fact, I fucked up something over here. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Nah. Uh, over there, yes. Almost. Yep. Whoop. Okay, here the same story. Okay, making a. a nice round of the corner over there. Yep. Okay, just making some curves to make it look look smoother. Okay, fill path. Yep. I've already chosen a nice color for my, my color scheme. In this case, I'm using 5D C4 FF. Okay, I'm gonna tear down the opacity a little bit. Eh, almost 50%. Between 40 and 50%, so it's enough. Next step, new layer. Layer 1. Shad. No, not shadows. Reflections one. Okay, just select your brush tool, whatever. Uh, two pixels. Two pixels. Select color white and get your paint tool again. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you this little reflection over here that makes it look like 3D, actually. So just get more or less the same line over here don't go from the top to the bottom it just looks so cool so do it from there to there something something centered so strokes of path yep okay okay now that i'm done with this one i'm gonna show you the next part so let's hide this layer and again layer new layer reflections two Okay, these ones are gonna be, let's see, these ones over here. Okay, another kind of reflections. So, let's say I'm gonna make them on the right side. Okay, uh, no, 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 I messed something over there. Okay, just keep it, keep it almost, always from the same distance from the, from the edge, please. Just looks better. Uh, okay. Get in it. Stroke path, enter. Okay, same, same here. Yep. Oh, fuck. Stroke path. Yep. And let's do one over here, little. Since this one would have had been the bottom part of it. Stroke path. Yep. Okay. 
now that we are done with this one okay just get your brush tool hey your brush tool, your eraser tool and just fade a little bit make things fade a little bit all the edges all the angles edges whatever okay perfections to same story okay now we can fill again our fill okay so you can see it's almost it looks nice already now reflections one layer mode overlay and you can pretty lay, leave it on the amount on the opacity you can leave it there don't go underneath 75 percent then you will won't really see it so that's around 80 between 80 and 90 percent it's so much nice okay reflection two again same thing overlay but this one's are gonna go down not that much uh, around 80 percent it's good nah a little bit better. okay now a new layer this layer it's gonna be a creepy mask of fill get again your brush this time we're gonna use a bigger brush I'm gonna use a 24 pixels brush color black okay now I'm gonna show you what it is this one, those shadows over here okay well you can see there's a actually a drop shadow so okay but without the drop shadow you can see it has a shadow all the so okay Oh well, you can see. Okay, I still have a shadow. So this shadow, what is it? Okay, get the layer already. You can prefix it on overlay. Uh, fuck! Don't do this. Oh okay. yeah, let's call the layer shadows, and let's do the work. Okay, so where there's no reflection, there's gonna be a shadow. Okay, so if there are no reflections over there, there are gonna be shadows. Make fades on the shadows also, so just to make it let them look nicer. Okay. Okay. Oh no 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 not over there. Okay, now you can tear the opacity down. Uh, keep doing the work just okay so this is almost everything left okay get your fill drop shadow obviously distance zero you can increase the size up to six uh, but you have to bring down the opacity around uh, 40 between 30 to 40 percent it's it's the right thing okay so guys this has been everything for the tutorial I hope you've liked it and see you the next time on the tutorial Tuesday on the Logic Network.